Greetings. It's Facebook Live with Les, Southern Gospel Music, memorabilia. We're going to have music, we're going to have memorabilia, we're going to have memories, going to have ministry, we're going to have it all tonight, like we do uh, on most shows. I trust that uh, all is well with you and yours, and uh, you're ready for a good uh, program tonight. We got some uh, George Yance interview snippets from way back, way, 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 way back, 40 years or so, um, that I did with George, and um, we're going to have him talk to you tonight. What about that? Going to feature some George Yance music, going to feature some cathedral quartet music. Come on now. Going to be good. Glad that you're with us here tonight. And let's see, we got uh, Patty, Patty beat you, Aunt Sue, Patty beat you, Aunt Sue. We got Patty and Aunt Sue, and we got Jimmy, and uh, we've got several others who haven't weighed in yet with their name, but uh, whether they weigh in with their name or not, we're just glad that you're here, okay? Just super glad that you are here. Let me get some stuff out of the way here first. Um, tonight, you'll see... Uh, another new behind-the-scenes video from my new album, I Like Southern Gospel Style the Best. We're getting close to uh, having them all done. And if you miss some, just go down my Facebook feed, and every Monday night you'll see a new one from uh, that features yet a different song from that album. And it tells you why I chose it and a little bit about the song. Then they play a little snippet of it, and uh, uh, I think you would enjoy that. So it's a video with me talking about it and then the snippet. And uh, so just go down my Facebook feed every Monday over the last couple of months. And there's a different song from that album that uh, I talk about. And there's a little feature on it. So check that out. Don't forget to um, go and subscribe to my YouTube channel, which we haven't even scratched the surface on. But nonetheless, uh, it's got a ton of stuff on it already. I can't wait for it to be. Well, first off, it's never going to be done but I can't wait for it to be 70% done. And then, and then it's always going to just be ongoing because at the 70%, there'll be, you, you could watch the content 24 hours a day, seven days a week for probably two years and never see the same thing twice or three or four years. It's just going to be an avalanche of Southern gospel uh, music, memorabilia, memories, ministry content, and um, mm, go subscribe. You're gonna, it's and it's got to do with real Southern gospel music, real Southern gospel music, real Southern gospel music. You hear me say that quite often these days, and I'm going to explain what's going on uh, not too long uh, down the road, and you'll you'll see why I keep underscoring real Southern gospel music. But go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, always go to oldtimepreachersquartet.com. Check out our schedule. Come and see us. Uh, I may or may not be with the quartet as I am not traveling with them yet, although I have done one date since October. Uh, a week ago Sunday, I was blessed to be able to go and sing and play with them in Georgia, uh, in Rossville, on a Sunday morning and Sunday night service for Brother Ricky Gravely. And uh, I so enjoyed it. Uh, being back with the, with the men. Uh, but whether I'm there or not, you will love the Old Time Preachers Quartet. So go check out their schedule, oldtimepreachersquartet.com. Go to our store, you know, get get my Facebook Live with Less Mug. It helps to uh, buy some of the stuff that I'm having to buy uh, to, uh, to do this and to do this well, to do it with excellence as unto the Lord. You don't want to do anything that you try to do for the for the cause of Christ and have it be just bad. And so um, if you want to go to the store and buy some of the Old Time Preachers Quartet CDs, some of my CDs, the Facebook Live with Les Mug, uh, my songbook about the hymns um, and other things there, just go to butlermusicgroup.com, click on the store, check it out. Uh, soundtracks, if you like some of the songs that you have been uh, – that you hear on some of my recordings or the old time preachers quartet recordings. Well, you can go and uh, get the soundtrack and sing them at church. Okay. Let's see singing news fan awards. You can still vote. We've got one of my family music group artists that I produce. It's on our label heart to heart. That's up for uh, favorite new group 
So uh, vote for them if you would. And they're worthy of that. Fantastic, fantastic group. Heart to heart. Vote for them in the Singing News Fan Awards. Uh, don't forget uh, the remainder of our April schedule. Let me get it out here real quick. Uh, tonight, George Yonts, as uh, previously stated. Now, uh, Thursday, I'm going to have sitting right here by me the Cathedral Quartet producer, Vic Clay, my friend. my um, The individual that taught me how to produce recordings and to do, do them with excellence as he has done decade after decade after decade and my friend, and he's going to be sitting right here with me and telling stories of his life and, and the cathedral boys and just all kinds of things. And I'm going to feature some music that he's produced from the cathedrals and maybe some of the other artists he's produced because he's produced about everybody in Southern gospel music, but boy, some of those huge cathedral hits, Vic Clay. So that's going to be uh, Thursday night. And then uh, let's see, Friday, the very next night, I'm going to have an artist showcase with some of my folks, Butler Music Group and Family Music Group artists. And uh, I hadn't worked on that yet. Don't know what's uh, getting ready to happen there, but it's going to be uh, music that you're going to enjoy. Uh, Monday, April 19th, a surprise show. Can't tell you because it's a surprise. That's why they call it a surprise show. And then uh, April 22nd, Howard Goodman. Got some old interviews with old brother Howard. Going to play some happy Goodman music and have Howard talk to us as he did to me uh, many years ago. And I've uh, got the recordings of that. Uh, April 24th, real Southern gospel music. Real. You'll, you'll understand why I say that one day. And then April 30th, another surprise show. So there you go. So that's the April lineup. And, been, and then I've been working on May. May's going to be a killer, just a killer. So I can't wait for that. Okay, uh, 2021 Diamond Awards. Uh, you can go and vote now, and uh, I finally have all of this uh, figured out here for my companies, Butler Music Group and Family Music Group. So um, you can go online, Google Scoops Magazine, Scoops Magazine, and you can um, vote in all these categories. I'm going to give you the categories, and I'm going to tell you the artists that I am blessed to work with that are in these categories that you can vote for. And so if you would entertain doing that, I sure would appreciate that. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go in the order that they have them on the, uh, on the voting um, page when you go uh, to Scoops Magazine. Uh, J.D. Sumner Living Legend Award of everyone that we work with, um, Mike Holcomb would be the one. Uh, now, last year, I'm for whatever reason, I, I made the top five, and Little Jam Buckner Golf won, as she should have. And how I made the top five, I, I don't know. <laughs> but but uh, all efforts on Mike Holcomb this year, because Mike's the man. He needs to be in. So, J.D. Sumner Living Legend Award, uh, vote for Mike Holcomb. Mixed group of the year, Barry Rowland and Deliverance, Heart to Heart, Heaven's Mountain Band, Williamson's. Whew. Boy, am I blessed to have the best mixed groups in all of gospel music. It's just the way it is. Quartet of the Year, Old Time Preachers Quartet, or the Marksman Quartet, our friends from down in uh, Joji, Murrayville. Trio of the Year, Barry Rowland in Deliverance, Heart to Heart, Heaven's Mountain Band. Which one of those do you like the best? Vote for them. Duet of the Year. Now, they are not on my label but I don't have any association with any other duos except for one. And I just produced their brand new, great sounding record. They're incredible singers. And uh, that record turned out great. I'm talking about the group Chronicle. So though they're not on my label, I'm a supporter, do their radio promotion, their producer, and uh, we want to back them. So Chronicle for uh, duet of the year, female vocalist of the year. You've got uh, Dina Kaiser from heart to heart, Deborah Johnson, heavens mountain band, Lisa Williamson of the Williamson's Rhonda house, heart to heart, Tammy Rowland of Barry Rowland and deliverance. So uh, there you go. That's a bunch of good ones there. Male vocalist of the year, Barry Rowland of Barry Rowland and deliverance, Darren Hebe of the Williamson's uh, David Kaiser, heart to heart. Uh, Mark Wheeler, Marksman, Mike Holcomb uh, of the Old Time Preachers Quartet, Roger Johnson of Heaven's Mountain Band. Some great singers there for sure. Song of the Year, how about Hallelujah March, Heart to Heart. If this altar could talk, the Williamson's. I sang myself slap happy by the Old Time Preachers Quartet and sing about going home. Um, that's uh, Barry Rowland and Deliverance. 
Anthony Berger, Instrumentalist of the Year, Adam Borden, uh, Old Time Preachers Quartet, Bo Chesser of the Williamsons, uh, yours truly, I guess, with the Old Time Preachers Quartet, Mark Wheeler of the Marksman, Rodney Johnson, and Roger Johnson of Heaven's Mountain Band. Now, that's the Anthony Berger, Instrumentalist of the Year Award. The Dottie Rambo, Songwriter of the Year, Lisa Williamson, Mark Wheeler, Roger Johnson. I am blessed to have three of the greatest writers in gospel music um, in my stable that we work with. Wow. Very blessed. Bluegrass Gospel Group of the Year. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Bluegrass Gospel Song of the Year for a Moment of Grace, Heaven's Mountain Band. Stack Them Stones, The Marksman. Bluegrass uh, Male Vocalist of the Year, Mark Wheeler, The Marksman. Roger Johnson, Heaven's Mountain Band. Bluegrass Female Artist of the Year, Deborah Johnson, Heaven's Mountain Band. Uh, Bluegrass Gospel Group of the Year, Heaven's Mountain Band, and the Marksman Quartet. Gospel Music Today, Video, DVD of the Year. Uh, I like Southern Gospel Style the Best from Yours Truly. Or how about uh, Sons of Uncle Sam from Heart to Heart? Uh, great patriotic uh, video that they did. And then the Paul Heil Award for Broadcasting. Um, I'm the only broadcaster in the bunch, so that would be me. So if you want to vote for uh, some of these folks in these categories, that would be wonderful. Uh, thank you for doing that. Uh, don't forget to uh, do the contest for I Like Southern Gospel Style the best. Do the contest, and if you are randomly chosen, the, the question is, why do you like Southern Gospel Style the best? And you can go to the contest link there on the website, butlermusicgroup.com. Click on that and uh, give us why you uh, like Southern Gospel Style the best, and uh, uh, we will choose randomly one winner, and they're going to win a great big old gift bag of all kinds of stuff, $500 worth of Southern Gospel music and DVDs and CDs and books and uh, tickets to the Mike Huckabee TV show and tickets to uh, the Passion Play, just all kinds of stuff. So go to butlermusicgroup.com and type on the I Like Southern Gospel Style, the best contest. That's it. Let's see who's on here with us. Patty Graham. Hello, Brother Les. Hello, Miss Patty. There's my Aunt Sue. Hey, she says. Jimmy Cantrell. Uh, hello, Brother Les. Nicholas Wilkie. Hey, buddy. He's going to be with me uh, next month. Glendon Phil Platter. Hi, young man. Don't hear that often. <laughs> uh, Patty Graham, it's a great album. Uh, all the songs are uh, better than great. Well, I don't know which album you're talking about, Patty, but thank you if I had anything to do with it. I appreciate you saying that. <laughs> brother Stacy Piercy, good to see you, Brother Stacy. Prayed for you this morning, like I do every morning. I trust you're doing well and past the second round of uh, COVID and um, all and everything else that's going on in your life. Uh, just pray all is well, Brother Stacy. Going to going to talk to George Yachts here in a minute, Brother Stacy. You'll like that. I'm going to play some George music and some cathedral music. So stay on if you can. Hit the share button. Let other people know that uh, George is going to be with us. We're going to play some George Yachts music. Okay. And I've got some memorabilia here. We're going to look at some old vinyl and another little piece of memorabilia that I don't know that I've ever uh, shown you before. But just in case, I'll show it to you again. But uh, okay. So here we go. Um, so uh, I've I interviewed George I don't know how many times over uh, nearly forty years uh, certainly thirty plus uh, that I was broadcasting when he was still alive and I've got tons of uh, tons of of uh, stuff from George that uh, I have recorded over the years and uh, I'm telling you it's just all of his interviews were always great and obviously his music's great so um, one of the questions that I asked him once upon a time had to do with this funny little song called Rumor Mill. I don't know if you've ever heard that song or not. If not, you get ready to hear it in just a little bit. But uh, right now, let's just see what he's got to say about the Rumor Mill, okay? Uh, and uh, John Moore, who used to sing bass with the Gaither Vocal Band years ago, wrote that song. And uh, I always loved it. And, and, and uh, you know... It, it's always bothered me who people who slipped around and talked behind somebody's back or hear something uh, and they would embellish it and tell their story about it and go tell somebody else, you know, I just thought the song uh, needed to be sung again with, with the message of, Hey man, uh, you know, we don't need to be spreading rumors. We need to be spreading the gospel, you know, mm -hmm. 
and uh, the gospel is not a, a rumor. It's, 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 it's a fact, you know. Give the audience a little taste of how you do that rumor mill. Let me tell you a story about a local enterprise. There's one in every town, no matter what it size. It doesn't turn a profit or bring in any revenue. It's good for one thing, and that's the damage it will do. It's called the rumor mill. Yeah, the rumor mill. <laughs> George Yance, the rumor mill. I don't know if you've ever heard that song or not, but I'm going to play it for you right now. What a great, uh, what a great little interview segment there. Did you enjoy that? Well, I'm going back in my memory, going back to those uh, days of, of uh, having these interviews and these times with, with George and uh, all the various uh, folks over the 42 years I've been doing this, that I've been able to, to be blessed to interview and be around and be on the bus. And they've been in my house and I've been in their house and we've been everywhere. Just, just, it's an honor for me to be able to bring um, that uh, to you uh, through these Facebook Live with less shows. Okay, so here we go. So we're talking about George Johnson, the song Rumor Mill. What do you say we go to an old piece of vinyl right now and have him do it? Rumor Mill, George Johnson. Let me tell you a story about a local enterprise. There's one in every town, no matter what its size. It doesn't turn a profit or bring in any revenue. It's good for one thing, and that's the damage it will do. It's called the rumor mill. The rumor mill. The people that work there are all volunteers. The only qualification is a mouth and two big ears. If the story's not clear enough, that's okay. They'll just doctor it up and then send it on his way. It doesn't matter who's involved or who it is gonna hurt. As long as folks are listening, they'll keep selling turns at the rumor mill. If it can be twisted, you can be sure that it will cause a ring of sacred at the rumor mill. The rumor mill. Manufacturing lies. The rumor mill. Where the truth is disguised. The rumor mill. Where reputations are crushed. The rumor mill. <laughs> Nothing is hurt. If it can be twisted, you can be sure that it will cause a mean love and sacred at the rumor mill. The rumor mill. Now listen, my children, to this warning I make. You've got a lot to lose. There's a lot here at stake. The Bible plainly states you're gonna reap what you sow And you'll be shown mercy by the mercy you sow So shut your mouth and ask your friends to kindly do the same He said shut your mouth You wind up with a victim with no <laughs> one else to blame at the rumor mill The rumor mill Tell him, George if it can be twisted, you can be sure that it will cause a ring of sacred at the rumor mill. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Yeah, Brother Stacy, what a voice. Listen to that. <laughs> George Yance, the rumor mill. 
we just talked to him about that song. So I, you know, I figured, well, why don't I just play that song for you? And so there you go. That is from an album that the Cathedrals did called Individually. I just showed you the cover there. And that had uh, all five members doing two songs each individually on uh, this particular album. So how about that? Okay, let's see who all is on here with us now. And as I prepare for the next segment, let's see what we've got. We got, hey, Jeff Gibson. Hi, my dear friend. Love your ministry. Thank you, brother Jeff. God bless you, my friend. I uh, trust you're doing well. Of course, the Jeff Gibson we're talking about is the Jeff Gibson of Heavenbound. The Jeff Gibson. The one and only Jeff Gibson. Glad you're here, Jeff. We got some more. Uh, I don't know if you heard the little interview I did with George on Rumor Mill, but I've got two more interview segments, one coming up in just a, just a minute, and some more George and Cathedral music. Let's see who else is on here with us. Uh, brother Stacy, you got hours of driving. Okay, well, just keep us tuned in, brother. We'll keep you entertained. Uh, George would be talking to you and some great music. Jimmy, uh, I'll be keeping you and your family in my thoughts and prayers, preacher. I always love hearing you preach at Middle Tennessee Baptist Church. Thank you, Brother Jimmy. God bless you. And, uh, boy, I'm uh, itching to be able to preach again. It's been uh, months. And uh, a week ago Sunday, I finally got to go out with the quartet and sing a few songs uh, just about a couple hours from the house. I, I still can't do a bunch of travel and all that. So keep praying for me. But I uh, can't wait to be able to uh, to preach again. I'm, I'm probably – I think I could give it a shot now. So as the Lord opens those doors, we'll uh, – We'll try to walk through them best we can, but uh, you know when you're called to do something and you uh, and and you can't do it, as has certainly been the case for me, it just uh, it just messes with you. I don't like it, but uh, God knows what He's doing, and He had me down there for a reason, and uh, I've been learning and uh, been getting better and giving Him the glory for that. So it's all good. God's been good to to your old friend, brother Les. That's for sure. And let's see here. Uh, Jeff says, awesome. Yes, Brother Stacy, what a voice. Oh, yeah. There's my cousin James. He says, hi, Les. Hope you're feeling better. It's a long recovery. You're sounding good. Thank you, James. Been praying for you, my friend. You went through a lot of the same stuff that I did, so I understand. Jeff, what an awesome lineup. We had some great times working together. Thanks for renewing those memories. Yes, sir, Brother Jeff. Happy to do it. Vic Grave says, howdy, Les. Okay, so let's do another, uh, let's do another uh, interview segment here with, uh, with our friend George Johns. Now, I was talking to him in this same interview about, uh, he started out, now this is funny, but it's the truth. He started out as a tenor. Now, did you hear what I just said? George Johns, the man we just heard go, started out as a tenor. I'm not kidding about that. And so let's see if we can't get him to talk about that uh, to us here real quick. Brother George, singing tenor. I was in the sixth grade in school in uh, Lenore, North Carolina. I won a book for having the highest male voice in our class. And I did, you know. Oh, wow. And at 16, I was singing lead in a quartet, and my voice changed. I got up one morning to sing, and I'll never forget the song, Down Deep in My Soul, A Melody Rings. Well, I started to sing the lead, and my voice broke and cracked, and I backed up and kicked the piano and coughed and ran around and started again. And my voice was changing. It was breaking and cracking and going from falsetto back into my real voice, and I thought somebody had cut my throat, you know. So I went about a year like that and then started singing bass in the same quartet I was singing lead in when I was 17. So you've hit all the parts there. What about that, George Yance? Tenor, lead, and Lord knows, sure enough, a bass singer. <laughs> so he was, uh, when he was in school, he was doing lead on uh, a song that he mentioned, I'm winging my way back home. Just a just an old-fashioned quartet standard. And I tell you what, uh, what I'm going to do. I'm going to play the Cathedral Quartet singing that song for you right now. Now, just imagine George being the lead singer on this song. Just imagine that, if you will. And how how a man that can sing bass like this would be doing, uh, would be singing uh, lead on this at an earlier age. The cathedrals winging my way back home. 
Down deep in my soul. Down deep in my soul. A melody rings. A melody rings. I'm winging my way. I'm winging back. My way back home. A sinner is saved. A sinner is saved. My spirit now sings. My spirit now sings. I'm winging my way. I'm winging back. My way back home. I'm climbing each day. Every day since Jesus is mine. I travel the road. Divine. The way is called straight. The way is called straight. That enters the gate. That enters the gate. I'm winging my way. I'm winging back. My way back home. A wonderful time. A wonderful time, time is waiting ahead. Is waiting ahead. I'm my way, my way back, my way back home. I mean to be there, I mean to be there. From sin I have fled, from sin I have fled. I'm winging my way, winging back, my way back home. I'm climbing each day. Since Jesus is mine, I travel the road to glory divine. The way is called straight. The way is called straight. That enters the gate. That enters the gate. I'm leaving my way. The Cathedral Quartet, I'm a wing in my way back home. Now, did you hear him singing that bass down there? Imagine him as a lead singer. Boy, did his did his voice drop or what? And then he said he started out as a tenor. Imagine that. What you just heard Kirk do on the tenor part. Imagine George doing that. And then you hear that. You know how he does. George Johns, my goodness. Just a one in a million singer. Just a one in a million singer. I'm telling you right now, one in a million, George Johns. Wow. He boys and girls was something else. I'm just saying now he was something else. Well, let's see who else is on here with us. John Roberts. Hello, brother Les. Good to see you, brother John. We're just talking to George Johns tonight. Yeah, that's right. That George Johns, the one that's no longer with us. Well, he's with us tonight. Vis-a-vis -vis some old recordings that uh, your old brother Les uh, did as an interview with him back in the, I'm not sure when it was, late 70s, early 80s. Uh, didn't have dates on uh, on that one. Jimmy says, uh, what's the name of your website again? I forgot. It is butlermusicgroup.com. There you go. Jeff Gibson, he is ever faithful praying for you. Thank you, brother Jeff. God bless you, sir. I know you are, and I appreciate it so much. And uh, Vic, Big Graves. Another Vic's going to be with me Thursday night. Vic, you need to come back and watch this, Vic. Vic Clay of the Cathedral. Matter of fact, the fellow that produces that produced everything you've heard from the Cathedral Quartet on my show today, including, I think, this, uh, yeah, including the, the third and final song for the night. Um, Vic produced more uh, Cathedral Quartet music than any other producer uh, that the Cathedral's had, and uh, they were so close and such a blessing for so many years uh, working together and uh, he'll be with me Thursday night, literally not on a video conference, not on the phone right here, sitting by my side. I am excited about that. Pumped is the way I should say it. I'm pumped about it. Uh, okay. So now uh, let me see what uh, we're, the last piece here that we're, Oh yeah. I was talking to George about uh, friends. You know, he traveled for so many years and, um, he had a bunch of friends and obviously in Southern gospel music. And, uh, we were talking about that. And so I asked him about that and he, he gave me just a, a, a short list of, of, uh, 
some of his friends. You know, it's, it's, it's incredible to tell about them all, but uh, I've been blessed with the, being able to associate with some of the finest people in gospel music, you know. Uh, you know, Rex Neal and I have been friends for, I worked with the Blue Ridge Quartet back in the old days. He was with the Lefevers. And Rex and I became buddies, you know. And, and all these years, we've kept in touch with each other uh, down through the years, you know. But Rex and I are real friends. Um, he, he's a great guy and a wonderful friend. Of course, Bill Gaither, back uh, before anybody knew who he was, he was a friend of Glenn and I, you know. And so Bill's been a, a great friend of ours. Albert E. Brumley, what a wonderful, wonderful uh, writer he was. And I was just thrilled to be able to walk up and hug uh, Brumley's neck in the last years of his life and tell him that I love him, you know. And uh, there's been so many special people in my life. Uh, Vesta Goodman is just a, a wonderful, wonderful person. She's been, in fact, she's the one that uh, called the head cardiologist at the Mayo Clinic here a while back, and you can't get in there for about four months. She called him on Sunday, had me in there on Tuesday. And uh, uh, she's just been a wonderful friend. George Johns talking about some of his friends in Southern gospel music. And, you know, uh, he had them and uh, we could have been all day talking about his friends. He just gave me a little snippet uh, of uh, some of his friendships, but I love some of those stories there, especially that last one about Vestal. Vestal just called Mayo Clinic. I think it, isn't it, wasn't it Mayo. I think it's what he said on a Sunday. And guess what? The next thing you know, old brother George is in there on Tuesday. <laughs> so a four month, uh, await, Turned into about a 48-hour wait because a friend stepped in and helped out. Vestal Goodman helping out our friend, George Johns. Then, of course, he uh, talked about Albert E. Brumley. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, there is, they recorded the cathedrals as well as just George on his solo albums, recorded a ton of Albert E. Brumley songs. I'm talking about dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of Albert E. Brumley songs. And I have this right here, this Albert E. Brumley classics from the Cathedral Quartet. It says, Cathedral Quartet sings Albert E. Brumley classics. And there are some traditional, you've heard them, you've heard everybody in the world do, I'll fly away if we never meet again. Jesus, hold my hand, and so forth. So I'm not playing any of the normal things. I'm gonna, I chose one that is um, definitely not, uh, it's not in the Redback Hymn book like many of the Albert E. Brumley songs are. Um, this one's an obscure cut, but I love it. And uh, so we're going to play. Uh, we're going to play this one for you here. Let me be sure I've got everything set up here. Uh, this is from the Cathedral Quartet sings Albert E. Brumley classics, and the name of this song is "Salvation Has Been Brought Down." Very few of you have ever heard this one. Is my guess the Cathedral Quartet. Jesus gave his life for ransom yonder on Calvary, on Mount Calvary, cruel Calvary. Pay the way by blood that we might win a bright shining crown. Praise his holy name. The holy name. Salvation has been brought down. Oh, glory, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Salvation has been brought down from heaven. Go and shout. And show and shout. And tell the world around. Oh, preach it and tell it today. To people in sorrow, tell it today. And tell it tomorrow. Preach the word of God that we might win a shining crown. In heaven, tell the lost. Tell the lost. Salvation. Is full and free to sinners friends and resolute all over the land and sea. Go teach it and tell it afar in every nation, tell it afar all over creation. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. salvation has been brought down. There's a blessed home prepared way over in glory land, in bright glory land, blessed glory land. I have trusted in his love and now I'm heaven bound. Praise his holy name, salvation has been brought down. Glory, 
Praise the Lord, the Lord. Lord. Salvation has been brought down from heaven. Go and shout and tell the world around. Go preach it and tell it today to people in sorrow. Tell it today and tell it tomorrow. Preach the word of God that we might wear shall ground in heaven. Tell the Lord. Salvation is full and free to sinners. Spread the messengers all over the land and sea. Go teach it and tell it afar in every nation. Tell it afar all over creation. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Salvation has been brought down. Mm. Come on, boys and girls. You know that right there. That's real Southern gospel music. Here I go saying real Southern gospel music again. And you're going to see why one day, why I just keep going with real Southern gospel music. The cathedrals, Albert E. Brumley classics. I was just reading the back of this. We're getting ready to go to the book of Proverbs here in a minute. This is Les Butler, Southern gospel music, memorabilia, memories, and ministry. We're going to go to God's word here in a minute. But I'm reading the back of uh, this album, uh, Jack. It's talking about some Albert E. Brumley classic songs. Again, we all know page 333 of the Redback. What is it? That's right. I'll fly away. Jesus, hold my hand. I'll meet you in the morning. If we never meet again, I'd rather be an old time Christian. That's page six in the Redback, by the way. I cannot find the way alone. Turn your radio on. I'm bound for that city. The blood that stained the old rugged cross. Surely I will, Lord. Uh, he set me free. It's an unfriendly world. Chuck Wagon Gang have a great cut on that, by the way. Uh, God's gentle people. I'm as poor as a beggar. I'm, I've found a hiding place. I want to walk just as close as I can. Do you, do you ever go sailing? Her mansion is higher than mine. I'd like to go back. There's a little, uh, little pine log cabin. Nobody answered me, rank strangers to me. And it goes on and on and on and on and on and on. Albert E. Brumley, the man wrote and recording ar artists recorded them. And folks like yours truly for 42 years, well, we're proud to play them for you, to bring them to you. And so uh, what about that one I chose from uh, the cathedrals that featured George? Salvation has been brought down. That's good stuff. I went obscure. I didn't go to the Redback. I went way on out there on a song that you probably didn't even know existed. But you now, you now know here from Facebook Live with Les. All right. Now, uh, let me give you a little piece of memorabilia here. Well, first off, I've been showing you all of, all of the vinyl. And le let's, let's look at this real quick. What we just heard, uh, uh, we'll start at the back row, standing up, uh, going left to right. Glenn Payne, of course. In the middle, George Johns. And then next to George is George Amon Webster. He played uh, bass and sang baritone with the cathedrals. Seated left to right, Roy Tremble, your tenor singer there. And then uh, right there in the middle, that little feller, well, that happens to be Albert E. Brumley right there. Mm -hmm. And then next to Albert was the cathedrals piano player, Haskell Cooley. And so uh, there you go, the cathedrals. Uh, there, Albert E. Brumley Classics, the Cathedral Quartet Sings. And I would say that's probably my favorite Cathedral Quartet lineup, just, just for my two cents. I uh, loved George Amon and Roy Tremble with Glenn and George, and um, they had great lineups. And I, depending upon the day, I could go another direction. But today, that's my favorite Cathedral Quartet lineup. Now, before we go to Proverbs, I'm going to show you. Uh, some Southern gospel uh, memorabilia. This right here is what you call a tie. See it? Signed by George and by Ernie Haas, his son-in-law. Little piece of memorabilia there, George and Ernie signing a George Johns tie that George used to wear when going out and singing. You can tell by the tie that this was probably a 70s part of his 70s ensemble. <laughs> and uh, he got this at what they call Sears, the men's store, right there. George and uh, Ernie signed that. And so there's just some Southern gospel memorabilia from your old buddy, Les Butler. Now, let's go to Proverbs. This is Les Butler, Southern gospel music, memorabilia, memories, and we've been giving you tons of all that, and now it's time for the ministry part. And... Uh, 
me see who is uh, hey this uh, hey les is haskell cool we playing the piano on that out yes that's why i just answered that uh jeff and i didn't see your question brother but i answered it uh, i must have known you were asking it that was haskell yes sir playing on the, the artist recording studio piano their artist in cincinnati ohio no longer there and that pains me greatly to say that because there were so many incredible albums that were recorded at artist recording studio in Cincinnati. And that's where I cut my production chops from 1978 to 1984 under the tutelage of my friend that will be with me Thursday night, Vic Clay. But yes, that was Haskell on that very piano playing that song. John Roberts says, love the old quartets, grew up listening to their records. Well, John, you're, you're, you're going to love my shows because that's where we head more often than not. I promise you that. Okay. Now, so we're going to tie in some scripture here to the very first song that we played tonight from George John's called Rumor Mill. My, in my nearly 60 years of existence, I'll be 59 in a couple of weeks if the Lord tarries. But so in my 59 years of existence, the number of, oh my word, the number of lives, the number of marriages, the number of churches that have gone down in in just a in a in a heap of of filth because of lies and rumors. Oh my! Over my fifty nine years, I can just I can go on and on and on and on and on and on. God's word has a lot to say about that, and I'm going to read just a few scriptures that talk about that. A tale bearer, someone who lies and stirs up rumors. Maybe, maybe it's not even a lie. Maybe it's the truth, but it would be best left alone and let God deal with the people. And you pray for them in a closet, quiet, not tell anybody. Try that out for size sometime and see if God won't bless you for keeping your mouth shut, just like George said in that song. <laughs> shut your mouth. Amen. Old brother Les has done got it stirred up now. Everything's all been nice. George has been talking nice in this great cathedral music. And here comes brother Les with a jackhammer. Well, here it is. Proverbs 18, 8. The words of a tale bearer are as wounds. And they go down into the innermost parts of the belly. Oh, when a lie penetrates somebody, it'll cut them down to the core, down to their very gut. The words of a tale bearer are as wounds. You want to wound somebody, lie about them. You want to wound somebody, maybe tell a, a truth that needs to be left alone. Mm. Proverbs 20, 19, he that goeth about as a tale bearer revealeth secrets. How would you like to have every, every little thing in your life to be broadcast to the world. Huh? Every little thing. He that goeth about as a talebearer revealeth secrets. Therefore, meddle not with them that flattereth with his lips. Listen to that. Meddle not with them. In other words, don't fool around with somebody coming to you saying, Hey, Brother Les, did you hear about Brother Les? Did you hear about Sister <laughs> You know what you ought to do right then and there? You ought, to, you ought to pull a Proverbs 20, 19 on them. Therefore, meddle not with him that flattereth with his lips. In other words, just like George sang in the song, shut up. <laughs> Hush. Like he sang in rumor mill. Proverbs 26, 20, where no wood is, there the fire goeth out. So where there is no tail bearer, the strife ceaseth. You get rid of a tail bearer, you're going to get rid of strife. Whew. You want to live in peace? Don't go around a bunch of tail bearers, a bunch of lion, a bunch of tail bearing lion people. Mm -hmm. God's word, Proverbs specifically, has got an awful lot to say about that rumor mill that George Johns just sang about. 
And I just wanted to underscore it with God's word. It's one thing to have a song that kind of, you know, says something and maybe you, you kind of laughed at it because it's the way they did it, the way George did it, and the way it was written and presented. It made you chuckle. But he was driving home a point. He just did it with, uh, with he just did it with more with humor, whereas I'm going right to Proverbs with a jackhammer <laughs> and nailing it down. George did it with humor. I'm doing it with the anvil of God's word. But the facts remain in that song, though presented with humor, rumor mills. God's not in it. God doesn't support it. God's word underscores that very truth right there. Go back and read for yourself. Proverbs 11, 13, write them down. Proverbs 18, 8, Proverbs 20, 19, and Proverbs 26, 20. Mm. A tell bear revealeth secrets, but he that is of a faithful spirit concealeth the matter. Did I read that? I think I may have missed that one. Let me hit that one again. A tail bearer revealeth secrets. They reveal things that ought to be just kept in secret and let God deal with the people. But he that is of a faithful spirit, he that's read Proverbs and knows not to be a tail bearer and to hush their mouth, guess what? A faithful spirit concealeth the matter. That's a faithful Christian there that may know something that is a truth about someone, but knows that it could hurt them and 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 even um, keep their walk with the Lord even more distant than it probably already is. It would be best for that person who knows that to hit their knees, beg God to help that that brother or that sister that is found in a fault and let God deal with the rest of it. When you've got someone that that will cons- that will conceal and bring it to the Lord and pray for that individual, you know what you've got there—a faithful spirit. You're going to have to just rip that out of my my Bible Bible if, if you don't believe that, because right there it is in Proverbs eleven thirteen. They're called a faithful spirit. All of these other things. Whenever they tell it, tell everything they know. That that's when he's talk. That that's when uh, Proverbs talks about. Um, they're a tail bearer. They wound people down to the innermost parts of their belly. They meddle, and they're full of strife. Rumor mill. <laughs> Thank you, brother George for rumor mill. Amen. Well, I bet you enjoyed all of that, but about the last seven or eight minutes. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed that. If you didn't, you need to pray about it because all I did was tell you what God's word said about that rumor mill that George Johnson just sang about. Amen. Jeff Gibson says, preach it, my brother. Well, Jeff, it's just me and you tonight, brother. Me and you, we're hooking up. We got a spiritual hookup going here. Everybody else is looking at me like a like a mule at a new gate. But I hope you've enjoyed this George Johns music and cathedral music. The power of death are in the tongue. Good preaching. Boy, boy, brother Jeff, well said. The power of death are in the tongue. Oh, my. How many, how many lives have I seen shattered because of a sharp-edged tongue? How many ministries have I seen fall down because of a sharp-edged tongue? How many churches fell apart because of a sharp-edged tongue? How many marriages have fallen apart because of a sharp-edged tongue? Amen, Jeff Gibson. That's right. All right, we're calling it a night. Now, you need to mark your calendar. I'm telling you, Thursday night is going to be one for the books. When Vic Clay, producer of all of that music you've heard tonight, <laughs> you produced all of that, and, and hundreds of others will be sitting right here, Lord willing, right here, right by me, Thursday night, right here in my home office, we're going to talk cathedral quartet music. And we are going to have one 
large time. And we may even take some of your questions. So uh, jump on here and uh, and ask your questions. And maybe uh, you can request a, a song or something that Vic produced. I don't know exactly how, how it's going to happen, but uh, I suspect that Thursday night will run long because I want it to run long. <laughs> Because uh, we will have a great time with uh, with old Vic Clay. Oh, man, I'm excited. Thursday night. Okay. Well, that's it. Hit share. Would you hit share, everybody? Hit share so everybody can hear this great George Johnson music and hear George talking to me from many, many, many years ago, talking about the rumor mill, talking about how he was a tenor, then a lead, and then all of a sudden something happened. And the next thing you know, we're done here. He's singing bass. And then, then he got to talk about some of his friends. Rex Nealon, Albert Bromley, Vestal Goodman. What a great story about uh, getting him into the hospital because uh, Sister Vestal stepped up there and helped her old friend, George Johns. It's good stuff. Jeff Gibson, great program. Honored to call you my friend, Brother Jeff. Right back at you, sir. Right back at you. James Butler, Les, I have a prayer request for, for my wife, Janet. She starts another round of radiation in a week. All right, Brother James, thank you for that. We will pray. Everybody join me there in prayer for uh, for James Butler's uh, wife, Janet, starting radiation, okay? My Aunt Sue says, I enjoyed it all. So very true, all of it. Thank you. Um, we needed to hear that. Well, thank you, Aunt Sue. I appreciate that. All right, God bless you all. Hit the share button, and don't you dare miss Thursday night. God bless you. We'll see.